Hello, it's me, Cubby, with another personal spin, and today I have some things to unbox. Ooh. So, I went to the Games Workshop today to buy the next thing in my Stormcast Eternal Army. <laughs> to pound and smash the Chaos Legions and beat and blitherate the Orcs in the destruction -y order, destruction alliance, whatever the hell they're called, and uh, to smite and smash the death alliance. Wow, I'm being way too specific. So, I thought I'd do a, an unboxing, as it were, using my pathetic tiny knife that is ludicrously sharp. And the dog has arrived. Out. Right, anyway. So firstly, to help in the battles, I bought a Knight Herald Or. And he has a comically oversized trumpety thing, which I've read in the rules, says I can actually blow it at buildings and things, and any unit within a certain amount of distance has to roll and they suffer D3 mortal wounds. Which basically means wounds that they can't roll to save. Yes. So I thought that was a good addition. Um, so, let me just remove the price and I will get into it with my kniffy. Eh. See? That's how ludicrously sharp this knife is. It just went through a load of plastic. Oh, it also went through the rule. The oh, it's okay because I've got that in the book that I bought as well. So, as you can see, I can't open it. Well, I probably cut myself on camera. No, hold on. Look at that. Well, that's close enough. So, uh, as you can see, comes a little tiny sprue. I'm going to enjoy putting that guy together because he's relatively simple to put together. So I'll probably put him together tonight. So I have a new unit in my army. Next up, I got these griff hounds, mostly because I thought they were cute. So I shall unbox them and reveal what is inside. I can't get into it. I'll just use the knife again. Ah, there we go, perfect. It's so sharp I have to be careful where I put it. I will cut things as I'm putting it down. Let's see what is inside. Right. They are the noble beasts of Azir. Which is funny because it almost sounds like the Acer. Yes, yeah. Well, anyway. Oh, as to be expected. Screw City, as somebody else said. A very funny guy I was watching, who I forgot the name of, who does a uh, Why Hero Quest is So Good video. So great. And that's a brilliant video. It makes me laugh. I still keep watching it now. Anyway, inside this box also comes this tiny instruction manual with pictures that uh, actually... These won't take long to put together, look. There's only like four steps to them. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. However, I don't have most of the colours they've listed in the back here. And as you know, I like to paint everything in my own colours. So I'm going to go with a, a greeny... A greeny one, a bluey one, and a purpley one, and possibly a reddy one as well, because I have numbers, number of colours, so that's cool. And then last but not least, stay, the big model, which has actually already been half opened, so that's cool, of Vanguard Palladors. Oh yes, these guys are going to be epic. I can't wait to put these guys together. I might have to wait till tomorrow. Or the day after. Or maybe even the day after. So. 
as is always the case, there are loads of screws, but then you've got this, the instructions. And uh, I think this time I will put the griffs together, paint them, and then put the men together and stick them on and paint them. Because I epically failed and actually glued my cat uh, Celestin onto his Dracoth before I painted him. So he's going to be really hard to paint. Which sucks. Quite frankly. But there we go. Anyway. There you go. That has been my random little unboxing. Thank you for watching. And I will see you again soon.